Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargaming.com. Hello, Wargamers. I'm making another vlog video. 40k army from start to finish. I'm working on my fast attack Veil Predators. I'm at home. It's 11:22 uh, p.m. and I am going to glue and assemble uh, three tanks. Three tanks tonight. No more proxying. I want to just get this done so that I can feel them and feel good about myself and uh, not lie to myself anymore because it's not good to lie to yourself about anything really. Y you want to stay true especially in the world of Warhammer. You want everything to be as real as it can be. There's no such thing as a Slanesh dream <coughs> any longer. I really have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just kind of speaking crap because uh, my guess is that if you're watching this video, you've maybe taken a look at the time of the end of the video just out of curiosity and seen how long the video is. And at this point in time, I can't tell you how long the video is going to be because um, I'm in the process of making it right now. But maybe when the video is finally finished, it might be a half hour long, it might be 45 minutes long. Whatever the case may be, my guess is that you are painting along or assembling along as I am doing this. And if that's the case, then that's great. In fact, that's what I would hope. If you're doing something else while watching this video, I might think that's weird. But if you're assembling, then that's totally, totally understandable. And it's uh, encouraged. And it's uh, forgivable. Once again, speaking crap. See, it's it's all about the multitasking. Like, I, it's difficult for me to actually multitask and uh, do anything while I'm doing something else. Hmm. Does this go this way? Is that why it's not fitting? Yes, it goes that way. Okay, good. So what I'm working on right now is this little part right in there, and these little slots in there that this part here goes inside has some sprue some of the what's the word I'm thinking of it has some leftovers, some residuals that need to be um, persuaded out with your clipper let's uh, word it that way just to attempt to be funny so that's what I have to do first before I put the rest of this guy together. Okay, so I like that. You know, those like snapping sounds are like music to my ears because it means, it means that there's progress. And uh, this piece goes in there like that. You know, once the chassis is built, then I was going to say it's all downhill, from, but no, that, that phrase doesn't actually fit there. It's all, uh... Hey, John, what's the phrase where you're like, something's easy after you do a hard part? Do you remember? There is actually a person over there. I'm not speaking to nobody. But, uh... You heard him cough earlier in the video. That's my buddy. He's over there playing uh, Dragon Age. I think that's the name of the game. going to make it so it's nice and tight together like that and uh, and I'll glue it and then I'll hold it to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I want it to be nice and snug, nice and tight. That's what we want here. That's the best way to assemble. Oh, <laughs> we don't want to forget the back hatch. That's very, very important. For, in fact, this can't be a snap together until that's done. I remember one time I was assembling a tank, a rhino, chaos rhino, and I didn't remember to put the back hatch on, and I had to put it on after, after I had glued, and oh man, is that ever frustrating, because you have to 
take apart plastic glue for one, which melds the plastic together, so you have to literally rip apart the now completely different chemical makeup of your chassis. And it's just not a pretty sight because it gets all gooey and uh, leaves a sticky, not a clean finish. Okay, so this is together, and the back flap is on right there. See that? Very good. And, okay, so we're good. So I just want to put this together, like kind of like a dry, put it together in a, like a dry run. Now, we take out our plastic glue. And we're going to glue the underbelly. I like to glue all of these areas. Just to make sure it doesn't move. Because who sees the underbelly, right? No one. I guess if you want to be dramatic, if it gets wrecked or blown up in the game, you could flip it upside down. But I don't like to do that to my tanks because I don't want them to feel bad. Because that's it's called being mean and overkill. And look at all the spider webs that I'm creating with this. Last time I assembled something was I think the vlog video where I'm assembling the assault terminators. I think that's the last one. There may have been one after that. It's been a while. I can't remember. But okay, so this is all together. It won't take too long for it to actually stick together. And while this is drying, I am going to assemble this other chassis. I got three here in front of me. And I apologize if my face is going off in different directions because I'm not focusing on looking at the camera right now. My focus is on, well, actually my focus other than assembling is to ramble because it's not an interesting video to listen to if there's no talking happening and I want to be able to talk so as to <sighs> snapping. Good noises. <laughs> you need to finish that sentence. It just so it's more interesting to listen to. So otherwise, why are you watching? No purpose. Although I could always just like add sound effects of sprues, snapping, and uh, glue, uncapping, but that also won't be interesting. Man, I'm really grasping at straws here. All right, let's talk about something fun. Let's talk about... What's new and exciting? Is there anything new and exciting? Yes, Joe gave me a really funny idea for a life of a war gamer today. And I actually had another idea as well, and I brought the video camera home and I'm going to be filming that this weekend. So the next, actually there's another Life of War Gamer that I've already filmed that I haven't edited yet. Footage is at the office and I'll get to that later. But the uh, fun part, fun part will be when it's uh, viewed but the idea that I have at home, not Joe's idea, this might be all convoluted talking, but it's fine. Probably only half listening anyway. The idea I have is for me to just get ready in the morning because everyone has to get ready. But the way I get ready in the morning is a little bit different than the way that uh, your average war gamer gets ready in the morning. And that's all I have to say about that. You're just going to have to wait and see how it's done by the half-human 
Deffy. Master. <laughs> oh man.